everyone and welcome to R and R News on Root and Revive. My name is Bisola Lassis. Gunmen few days ago struck again, kidnapping four Reverend sisters of the Catholic Church. They were abducted on their way to morning mass at the Okigwe Enugu Expressway, which has become a haven for kidnappers and hand robbers. Just last week, a Catholic priest was kidnapped along the road. He was released two days after. Spokesperson of the police in the state, Michael Abatam, was here to respond to an inquiry concerning the abduction at the time of filing this report. And that's all the news we have for today. We'll be back soon. Please stay with us. Thank you for staying with us. This is still R and R News on Roots and Revive. If you're just joining the show, my name is Bisola Lassisi, and with me, of course, I have Pastor Victor in the studio. How are you doing today? Good afternoon, my <laughs> Happy I'm doing Sunday. Fine. Same to you. Uh, I believe you've been enjoying yourself. Ah uh, yes, I have been, the but you know, down, the traffic is very. <laughs> I don't know, um, and you know, this whole week, it's uh, better than last week because the stress mm, yes. has been telling on the brain, of course, of course. and today's traffic is just one. I don't, I don't even know what to, what to say. It's Sunday morning. That heavy Le traffic. Lagos has a way of stressing you. Honestly, even when you least expect. It Honestly, just, it's it just. <laughs> but you know, you just you just have to build this. You just have to have this. Resistance. Yes, against yeah, everything that Lagos brings. Exactly. <laughs> Someone was <laughs> telling me about how Lagos is, and comparing to another state that she came from yesterday, exactly. and I don't know. It's it's just, it's it's that's it's the it's fact it's about Lagos. Now, without wasting any time, talking about the news. Um, this ha this surfaced a few days ago, and this is no news that Christians have been kidnapped each and every day. And this is another one that surfaced. Four Reverend sisters have been kidnapped again in a, in a and we don't know what to really say. I mean, what do you have to say? And I don't know. Another Catholic priest was released on that same road. So this is becoming a ritual. I honestly don't know how to approach this yet because. There has been this speculation about, okay, should Christians begin to harm themselves or not? And you just wonder, what is the government doing to fix this? But exactly. notwithstanding, uh, in all of it, we believe we are more than conquerors. Yes, and, so, but this, this, this is what I want us to understand. People have been talking about um, harming themselves. And this surfaced yeah. when, the, um, after the Ondo massacre, exactly. people have been having this all sort of, you know, um, <laughs> conversations and, you know, they, are, they feel that it, what they can resolve with is harming themselves. Exactly. So, we, we heard something like is, that. What, is, what do you think this would lead to? Because um, before I gave my life to Christ, mm -hmm. I was one way. After I gave my life to Christ, something happened to me. And that thing kind of uh, planted the love of everyone in my heart. Uh -huh. So I have tried after the whole thing, I have tried to imagine, you know, someone whom God has planted compassion in his heart to grab a gun or grab a weapon and outrightly just kill a person. It's, it's, it's difficult for me to imagine it. And looking at Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, I imagine Jesus picking up arm to kill. Anybody. To kill, yeah. So, yeah, there, there's this verse in I think in the book of Luke that actually says, okay, uh, sell your clothes, sell your garments, and buy sword. And that's and that what some Christians are traveling with. Yes. And that leads, with so this something. is not the first time people does be misinterpreting the scriptures exactly. and you know making it suit to their own. own yeah. Yes, whatever. They and another thing I want to say about this is, if we want to say that Christians should start harming themselves, themselves. to protect themselves. The Bible makes us to understand that only God can protect us. He's our, he's our um, protector. protector. Yes. He's the only one that can protect us. Exactly. So even when you pick up an arm to protect yourself, there is no guarantee that that arm will protect we you. Still protect there is no guarantee. Because when we're talking about bandits and gunmen, mm -hmm. these people have, I don't know how they get their ammunition, but you know, we, we can see through the news that these people have the best exactly. when it comes to ammunition. No, so I don't know how this, how 
Christians want to get ammunition, get ammunition to, to, what, to what kind of ammunition do you want I think there is a verse of the Bible that we are also forgetting. Okay. The Bible says that blessed are you when you are fired and persecuted mm. for doing good. Exactly. So for, why, why yeah. do we want to throw that away? Because I, it's true in Matthew, Jesus actually says that when you are persecuted, exactly. It, you and should be you glad know, about it. A few days ago, I got the news that uh, this Deborah girl is being honored in the United States. She's been States. honored. Many souls. But, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how our people are thinking. But I feel like um, this is people really need to sit down and, and think grow about deeper. exactly and grow deeper. Exactly. They need, exactly. They, I, I I never imagined that Christians would, would come to this resolution of picking <laughs> arms, guns, cutlasses exactly. to protect themselves. Yes. And now. Let's just say the government allowed this. God forbid they would not. But let's just, <laughs> let's just assume they allowed this. They and everybody, you know, um, have to a cutlass or a gun in their possession. Don't you think that's a problem you is having now? Right. Because you don't, you in the news, you just realize that one person has just one more person down. Because Even of more. more. Exactly. Because and you know that this is our Lagos. We're just talking about Lagos and the stress that it tells on the brain. Exactly. When your brain is stressed and when someone gets you <laughs> angry, you cannot you can, you can And when you it. remember that you have a gun or you have a cutlass in your in your house, house. the devil can take advantage exactly. of that. Advantage. The devil is already on Christian's case already. Mm -hmm. Then you want to complicate things by giving him an advantage over your life. Exactly. By having uh, an, um, um, an, by having an, yourself. An ammunition, exactly. Then, no, it's, 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 it's a very wrong. It's a no, no. It's a, <laughs> it no, is a very no, wrong no, idea. Yeah. Exactly. The Bible has. There are many scriptures in the Bible that talks about forgiveness. I have a question. Sorry. Okay. Sorry for interjecting. Okay. Why are Christians no more interested in persecution? <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why are we not talking about persecution again? Why? When someone because comes to your church, kills you, <laughs> you should be rejoicing. The Bible says, rejoice. But you know what? No we will we'll not have to. We'll not <laughs> because we'll be like, ah, what, what, what's, what are what we talking about? Exactly. But we will not deny the fact that the Bible said it. Jesus Christ went through persecution. Sure, sure, the exactly. apostles you know, that followed, the disciples of Jesus that became exactly. apostles, these people exactly. were persecuted. Exactly. And I remember Stephen when he was being stoned, all he could see was just the heaven open. Mm -hmm. And that was only the only thing he could see. And exactly. it, we said, a word of prayer, even as he was being. It was, I, I want to imagine being stoned, stoned to death. To death. Like it's, it's horrible. Every stone, every stone. not all the small small granite, every, every any one that can kill someone. And, and I, all that's the person can say the, is the word of prayer. Deborah, right? Yes, that was the case with Deborah. That was the stone. That I think she was burned. Oh, to oh, death. She was burned. Oh. I want to just you know, <laughs> I want to implore all Christians out there. Uh, if you're one of the people considering getting. And ammunition of getting of getting yourself harmed. Please don't think about it at all. If I don't even don't bother doing that, exactly. it would not lead to anything. Pain. We Pain. want to make sure we want to make the country and the world a better place, and exactly. everybody getting <laughs> an ammunition. <laughs> it would not make it's, anything. It's a lot of you know that one when, when we I think we were having a conversation, you know, behind off studio one time, and you said something that the only thing giving this this government powers is because of the ammunition that they have. Yes, take it away, and you know they are more like yeah, exactly. These yeah, people yeah. have like so. <laughs> I don't know. It's not even <laughs> when you consider. Arming, yours, arming, arming your, yourself, you are mm. taking Jesus out of the picture. picture. He is no more your protector. Mm. You are trying mm. to say that he Correct. cannot protect Very you. True. So, Very true. And we have even people that you know that are even harmed, they still get killed. Because this thing is not a guarantee See. for a, a long for long life or protection mm -hmm. either. So it's it is not... It's it is best not, to just trust in God for protection. God will show up for everyone. God will show up, and Amen. He has been doing that, and yeah. He will not let us down. Amen. So no one should consider harming. <laughs> Please, we don't want to have any issues at all. We don't want to have any issues at all. All right, having said all of that, I hope that you know viewers at home have gotten something now. And if you are considering, or you have anyone around you considering harming him or herself, I think this this um this episode episode would help that person better to know better, and you know the person it will help the person know what the scripture. Says about loving your neighbor even when they hate you even when mm. they do the worst things to you that's why jesus said that when a person um when uh your how do i put how do i put it now when you when they sell your and when they collect your okay when your, um, when uh a person comes to take away your garment give him, give him your club yeah so when he says go to my go, go in my go to go two miles I mean, I'll, this thing is that you also said something now. If you want to be a deep Christian, you just just give like a foolish person. Exactly. That is what <laughs> you just have to 
we have to have that. See, if you begin to talk about this thing, then we'll just talk about it the whole time. Day. But you know what? Exactly. This is this is a topic worthy. What do you think? It's it topic, topic worthy. worthy. Yes. It's topic worthy. So you persecution. <laughs> yes, it should okay. be sent out. I think you are really, you really want to. Yes, I, well, I, I, I would love to talk about this. Yeah, because it's people really, really need to understand what the Bible says. It's one thing to read the Bible, and it's one thing for the Holy Spirit to give you insight to make you understand what is written in there. Yes. But um, it would. Maybe we'll bring this back as a topic, but yes. you guys will be the one to decide that. Exactly. So when the, the link of this episode is being posted on Super Screen's um, um, channel, channel, what you will do is just go there and you make a comment saying, bring this yeah. as a topic. topic. And bring we will back. do just Justice. that. So we'll make sure that we'll, you know, we'll get another guest exactly. to talk extensively about this. So all you have to do is hurry down to... Um, YouTube after the link of this episode has been posted and comment bring this as a topic and we'll do just that. All right, we have really talked about this and I'm glad that we, we, did. we finally <laughs> talked about <laughs> people getting arms. Our time is just running, so we'll go on a quick break. When we come back, it's we, going to be very It is going to be. I, personally, I love what we want to talk, talk about, about today. I Honestly, so. I really love it. So let's go on a quick break. When we come back, I will talk shortly about um, our guests and just keep going. Do not go anywhere right now. To root and revive. I'm still here, Bisola Lassisi, in case you're just joining us. And I have my awesome co host with me, Pastor Victor. Yes. Hope you're enjoying I'm yourself. I'm All here. right. Um, we have a guest seated. We've also talked about something intriguing, something interesting and educating. But let's um, talk about something quickly. You want to do that? Okay. So if you are yet to subscribe or you know to the YouTube channel, you can join us right away. By typing roots and revive, roots and roots and revive on YouTube. It takes you directly to our YouTube channel. In case that's the way you want to do it on your mobile, you will join us live on roots and revive today. So yes. here we have our guest today, and I'm super excited. You're welcome, sir. You're thank welcome. You so much, sir. Yeah. Thank you, You're thank welcome. you so much. How was church today, sir? Oh, we thank God. It's it very really nice good. having you. So it people, is nice this is. Minister Miracle Dome. No. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a very good friend of this team and mm -hmm. okay. I believe he's here today with the word of God to enrich us all together. We have Thank a topic you, sir. today, sir. Yeah. Right, sir. And um, we feel it's a sensitive and controversial topic, mm. but we trust God to help us, you know, scripturally do some analyzing or mm. analysis, analysis and do it. justice to the so so the thing is, there seem to be more comedy and okay. jokes around, you know, in the church and the body of Christ now and all. And uh, we feel like, uh, what do we do? Should biblical contents mm. and personalities be used as objects of okay. joke? You will hear things like, yes! In some mm. comedy skits, mm. you will hear "Carry me, they go, Jehovah, carry me, they go," and all of this. The Bible says, mm. "Thou shalt not call the name of the Lord thy God." You're shaking tables right now. In, in vain. vain. Mm. So, and you see these things feature in some of these. Comedy. That's true. Should That's true. Biblical contents, mm. personalities, be used as objects of joke. And interestingly, you even have this in some churches. So, mm. what? How do we address this? It's a sense. Issues. Sorry, one oh, minute. Oh, okay. For, sorry. Um, for for better conversation and engagement, you can follow us on all social media platforms. We are on Instagram, on Facebook, and on YouTube, where we are streaming live right now. So you can hurry there to watch live on your mobile phone, in as much as you have mobile data. And also, you can download the Havo app and you scream through the channels and search for Super Screen on channel one one zero, and you can watch live. And also know that you can begin to you know ask your questions 
and you can dial in right now, ask questions, make your contributions as the conversation goes on so we can have proper engagement. You can do that now. So. All right, thank you so much for having me today. It's a pleasure having you thank here. Thank you so much. Um, the first thing is that we need to understand the contemporary comedy, which has become a career. Um, and, you know, we are in a country that have less job opportunities. So a lot of people have seen comedy to be a lucrative business. And uh, because of the, the nature of the business like music, a lot of people are going into it. And the amazing thing is that these comedians are being sponsored and supported by churches. Mm. And it's, it's, it's amazing that we are in a generation as this. Mm. But I want us to look at a scripture okay. in Romans chapter 8 and verse 1 and two. I think this is the scripture that almost every Christian we, we recite, we believe in, mm. and you hear people say, now therefore there, there is, is no, no condemnation, condemnation to us. Mm. But this doesn't mean we, ha we have to live every kind of life. Mm. It doesn't mean that we have to take every kind of job. Mm -hmm. And it, it's, very, it's very disturbing that you cannot tell a Christian to lose something for Jesus' sake. A Christian cannot leave a job because of Jesus. Mm. A Christian cannot lose anything because of Jesus. So coming to that and then talking about comedy, comedians and making joke mm. with church, Christ, religious, biblical, biblical content, it's very difficult, I must say. Mm. It's very difficult in a generation as this. It's so difficult because so many people will lose their job. So many people will lose their stand. Okay. But we have to say the truth. Exactly. The most important thing is that we have to say what the Bible believes okay, in. So what the Bible says is that it's wrong. What the Bible says is in verse 2 of Romans chapter 8. And it says, for the law of the spirit, spirit of, of life, of life in, in Christ Jesus, Jesus have Jesus. set us free from the law of sin, sin and, and death. death. And making comedy with anything that has to do with God is a sin. Mm -hmm. It's a sin. Mm -hmm. And I want us to look at what happened in Judges chapter 16 when Samson was caught exactly. and his eyes were plucked, plucked off. off. The Philistines mm -hmm. said, let us bring this guy and let him let make, him make Jokes, entertainment. Let him entertain. Let him entertain. Yes. So we see that far mm. back as the Philistine. And remember, that was when they were celebrating a certain feast. Mm. They decided you know, was, to. I think jokes and uh, uh, how do I put it? Humor is mm. commonly found in the midst of pagans. Of it's, pagans, mm. of unbelievers. Okay. Unbelievers mm. make jokes. Okay. People who don't have reverence for, mm, God. for God. They mock God by making jokes. Okay, I have a question to ask now. Um, mm. Just like you said, jokes um, are found in the midst of pagans, pagans and unbelievers. But I want to ask on behalf of the viewers, viewers. I don't know, that might be wondering, what, what, are, what are they saying? Should we not make jokes anymore? Mm. Should we not laugh anymore? Mm. Uh, even God said we should, even, even the Bible said we should, we, should, we should have joy and we should be happy and everything. Happy. So mm. I want to ask on behalf of the viewers that might be wondering mm. at home. Okay. Mm. Are you trying to say that in, in general we should not make jokes or... Because you're saying that jokes are found in the midst of pagans. Mm. But we are supposed to laugh, at least. Mm. We are supposed okay, to laugh. Right, in, um, in the context of Ephesians chapter 5, verse 4. Okay. Okay. And two things, two major phrases are there that okay. probably should, or maybe we should say, okay, what characterizes a statement, a statement. uttered as mm, a, a joke. joke? Because it said there that foolish talking, no, jesting. Mm. So what is foolish talking? Mm. What is jesting? jesting. So that okay. we will know too, because I love, I have a very good sense of humor. humor. So that yeah. I don't find exactly. myself in trouble. Because I exactly. Don't know, exactly. I don't know of other pastors that, you know, when they're preaching, they, they make people they make laugh. People laugh. That's true. I did that a couple of times. That's yes. true. And you will yeah, enjoy, you will enjoy you the sermon and That's you will true. smile even while taking something very seriously. Very important. So I That's want also quick to, to make a balance. Yes. Yeah. Make, yes, make a balance of everything. I think the, the, the major contest we are dealing with is using the name 
of God or using religious biblical, content. biblical content. Okay. Humor is good. Humor is great. Okay. Humor, you can't remove this from, from humans. Yeah. It, it's like um, people that have temperament. Mm. There are people that are sanguines, like myself, I'm a choleric. <laughs> so, okay. uh, you know. I think I am sanguine. 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 Oh. I am sanguine. <laughs> okay. So there are sparky sanguines, people yeah, that sparky make people laugh. Mm. They, wherever they are, people find happiness and joy. Right. And scripture never forbids joy. Mm. If you look at Psalm chapter yeah. 16, verse 11, Psalm chapter 32, all through Psalms, you find out that God is happy when we are happy. Of course. But the major challenge is when people lie, when people what? say things that are not true, true. Okay. when someone is in Lagos and he's saying, I just returned from America. Yeah. This, this thing is special, sir. In fact, this thing is mm. done on the altar, on the pulpit today. True. Yeah. True. Very yes. true. And it's baffling. Very mm. true. It's baffling. It's disturbing. The truth is, we must. Lie. So, lie is mm. one of the characteristics <laughs> of. of I, think, talking, I think in Ephesians, where you mentioned, Pastor, yes. there is something that a, a translation puts there. It calls it crude joking. Mm. joking. Crude, crude jokes. Mm. I think that's the translation. Mm. So a, a joke is fine when what you want to achieve through it is something that is healthy. When you're just saying things to make, oh, uh, Pastor, you're looking this way, just to make him smile and happy. But when we lie, all to entertain mm. people. Mm -hmm. when, we, when we say things that are not true as mm. Christians, then I think there should be a challenge. In Colossians chapter 3, mm. reading through that scripture, Paul began to speak to the people in Colossae. Mm. And he said to them, remember, remember Christ. Remember him. And if you read down to verse 8, he says, mind what you say, what mm. you speak. Mm. Very important, sure. what you say. Because Matthew, even, Matthew 12. Matthew 12. Mm -hmm. Every I do word, word must be accounted I for. I was, I was even going to talk about that. Because you know, you, you said something mm. that we are only talking in, we are only talking in the context of using biblical personalities mm. and content. That's true. But we need to also make people understand that aside using even this biblical, biblical content, content. content personalities. As, even any word, any vain word you, mm. you say, or any word that, you, that I don't even know how to, to um, describe that, but any, every word will be accounted, accounted for. for. Every word you speak will be accounted for. So you need to, when I read that scripture mm. for the very first time, I was like, ha, <laughs> you just need to, and it's not as difficult as it seems. True, it true. It is not, but you just need to be very careful. Now, there, there is this other question. Okay, sir. I've heard. People say, um, when you say, ah, why do you allow comedy in the church? You say, hey, people come to church with their sorrow, mm. they come to church with their this, mm. their that. Mm. And, you know, they begin to tell you some things. And if you're not careful, if you're not deep, mm. you begin to sink in mm. with true, them. True. That, but I'm of the opinion. So mm. I want to help you. I, I want you to help me you know, okay. help us strike a balance now. Okay. In John chapter 14, verse 6, and mm. verse 26, okay. the Bible says the Holy Spirit is uh, you know, going to be the comforter, comforter. that Comfort. Jesus mm. will send. Mm. Uh -huh. so, and at the same time, we also have ourselves. The Bible mm. says in, uh, I've forgotten now, I think 2 Corinthians 1, 4. Okay. Permit me to, <laughs> that you, 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 we have ourselves. We, I will have to comfort you because I've been comforted by the Holy Spirit mm. when you go through things. So we have the Holy Spirit, we have ourselves. Yet people say that the place to find comfort now should be in jokes. So I mm. don't know. Am I the one who's understanding something? Or, you know? Pastor, I, I think the truth is that many people in church or many people who claim to be Christians born again are not yet born again. Mm. I think we have not, many times when questions like this, mm -hmm. should we do this? Mm -hmm. I think mm. a time in, um, <laughs> I, I was with the, with the church, mm -hmm. I will not mention the name of the church, I was with them mm -hmm. um, as, as one of the ministers and someone walked up to me and began to say some certain things that are not good habits. I was asking, he said, sir, where, is, where in the Bible 
is this said? Mm. Where in the Bible is this said? You know, I think some viewers will be asking, where in the Bible, Bible exactly. is it that any church that brings a comedian or, or, or anything yeah, like that? I know, it, I so, I know my pastor always tell me something. Mm. And he says that there is something that is called law of the spirit. Mm. And when you you actually gain, you have the Holy Spirit, mm. you don't have to, I want to quickly talk about um, joy. Okay. When okay. people come with sorrow, depression, so, depression. The church, mm. and they want to find the joy. I want to give I want to give um, my own life experience when I gave my life to Christ. I experienced this joy mm. that I could not explain. explain. That mm. And I did not get this through any comedy. In fact, I was running from social media at the point because I just knew something in me knew that when I get it, it's going to contaminate the joy I have in life. Mm. So I knew the joy of the world and the joy that God would give to me. Mm. So when I got, when I received the Holy Spirit, I was always happy. Mm. There was this happiness that I always find, especially when I go to the presence of God. Mm. I will always, I just have this happiness, even when I don't have enough. I would, there's this happiness that I don't even know where, it come, where it's mm. coming from. But I always feel that happiness. Then I cannot exactly. attest to the word of God that says that in the presence of God, there is, there is, there is fullness of joy. Of joy. Yes, yeah, to go to the presence of God, <laughs> to find that's where we people. find joy. Exactly. You'll be, you be smiling everywhere. You can also share this. With your family. True. I, I never even noticed that this these things that we even look watch on our social media, these comedy videos we watch. When you show your mothers and fathers, they cannot even relate with it. Mm. You will be, be like, can't you see what I'm seeing? They cannot see what mm. you are seeing because it's not making sense True. to them. Yeah. True. Mm. Talking about that now, talking about the law of the spirit. Period. You were saying that someone walked up to you, I was saying that where is this in the Bible? When you have the Holy Spirit, the Holy mm. Spirit will tell you what to do mm. and what not to do. Very and true. you would you would really not find this in the Bible. Mm. 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 But I think this is good. We are going to deep for <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I think one of the things, the reason why people ask, just like the Pharisees, what they were trying to do was to defend their self. Mm -hmm. And Christianity, you don't defend yourself, you deny yourself. yourself. So many times we want to, if, if you ask churches, if you ask pastors, why do you bring comedians? And they say, because people are depressed. Mm. The truth is that mm. the same thing that gives them joy when they were in the world still gives them joy, joy. now that they are with Christ. Mm. That means there's something that is wrong with something either they have received exactly. a life exactly. or they don't want to deny themselves. Mm. So it, it, it's, it's quite appalling, it's quite disappointing that we have a generation of people that Christ cannot satisfy. Mm. Exactly. I have a question. Mm. Now, it looks like uh, uh, we, we are saying it's a sin, and that's what we are mm. saying. It's a sin to make jokes that are not true. That are not true. Mm. Now, my question is, when a Christian is sad, when he's sorrowful, when he's not happy. Mm. And he, we have told our viewers now that it's wrong to seek comedy to help you stay comforted or, you know, to be comforted. Mm. What should a Christian subscribe to to solve the sorrow, to take away the sorrow? I know we've mentioned it, but do we, can you say we have step-by-step -step process Mm. That will help. It. For instance, depression is, is serious thing. Yeah, it's yeah. not so common in this here, country. But yeah, mm. it's not so common here. Mm. America is dealing with a lot of things. Mm. Mental country. stress. Yes, in the Western world. So now, when there is depression in the life of the Christian, mm. step by step process, how would a Christian get out of depression? What are the things a Christian should do, do to get out of it, apart from seeking comedy? Mm. Okay, I, I think. You mentioned something very powerful earlier on, and that is the Holy Spirit. If we truly have this Holy I'm Spirit, He is a person. Mm. He is a person that can give joy, mm. that can give peace, that can give satisfaction. Mm. I think the first thing the church should do is to ask ourselves, are we, do we have Him? Mm. Yeah. Do we have the Holy Spirit? Are we... Are we born again yeah. it's a very difficult question to ask yeah, but the is. truth is yeah. that we must ask this question how would the christian know that he has I, I think I, I was i was somewhere <laughs> pastor i was yes, somewhere sir. um last two weeks i was somewhere and i was i was sharing something about the comforter 
if we have the Holy Spirit, if we are born again, the comforter doesn't comfort us because we are grieved of pain, of mental stress. He comforts us because the system of the world is not comfortable to us. So when we see people that are living the way that is not of God, a Christian should be sorrowful. Mm. True. That someone is living in sin. Exactly. That someone is not living like God. A Christian should feel, oh, this brother is lying. Why is this brother saying? I think I've been somewhere in a church to minister. It was start the revival meeting, Pastor. Mm -hmm. And they said before the revival began or will begin, let's have some comedians. And I was really sorry. Revival. <laughs> I was really sorrowful. Jesus. And the funny yeah. thing is that the revival, the revival, I'm sure you never came. The revival flyer had people that are, you know, wheelchairs and all of those pictures. Mm. And I was coming with so much desire to feel God, mm. so much desire to feel the power of God and the presence of God. And then <laughs> someone comes up to say, revival. he was in America and then he saw someone. And then before oh, he opened nice. his eyes, he saw himself in a jegule and mm. people would laugh and say, and I, I was wondering, church? Mm. So I, I think the problem is that we, if we have the Holy Ghost, if we have the Holy Spirit, genuinely, he will, even when it's, uh, in 2015, Pastor, I lost my father. No comedian can comfort me at that point. Mm. You know, there are things, even in depression, there are levels of depression that comedy cannot solve. So if we say, oh, comedy is okay, let's have comedy, it's going to solve our depression, there's going to get to a time the world civilization will run out of resources. When someone is grieved, someone lost his job, and you will bring all the jokes you know, and he's yet not satisfied. I don't even know what the number of jokes on, on social media, and mm. I, I, can't, I can't even laugh. I've not, I just watched it with a very straight feeling. Like, okay, this is not even true. It's not as funny. <laughs> All right, I've said a whole lot of things here, and this is a very interesting topic. I tell you, if you're watching and you're here to call and to, to call in and ask your questions, I don't know what you're waiting for, but the number to call will be wrote on your screen right now. So what you want to do is call in, ask your questions, make your contributions. Do you think making comedy with um, personalities and content of the Bible is right, or do you think it is wrong? Whatever you think, call in, ask your questions, and also make your contributions. If you're here to follow us on all social media platforms, please do that right away. We are available on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. We are also on YouTube, where we are streaming live right now. You can also download the Havel app and scroll through, um, scroll through the, the channels and search for Super Screen Channel 110, and you can watch us live anywhere you are in the world. Okay, let's go on a very quick break. When we come back, we are going to continue with this interesting topic. You don't want to go anywhere. We'll be right here. Welcome back. This is Zero Time Revival. And I still have Minister Miracle Dome. Thank you so have much. My awesome co host, Pastor Victor, in the studio. And we're talking about something very important and interesting equally. We're talking about making jokes out of um, biblical content and personalities. We've said a whole lot of things, but I have a question to ask. Now, oh, maybe, let, maybe, let me say, is it a question or um, just you know, making a contribution? Okay. I, I think another thing that Christians suffer from <laughs> is okay. laziness mm. okay. to seek the real thing. They just resort to something short term, mm. something that can just you know comfort them at the, at moment, the moment and forget the real thing. More because, like taking alcohol. Yeah, mm. exactly. Taking alcohol to just release yourself of for momentarily. Like so, yes. I think it's just laziness. Mm. They, they don't have the willingness and, and um, they've not found commitment. the strength. Yes, to commitment. To, to really give yourself to because so. having the Holy Spirit is one thing. Mm. And honing him 
keep keep winning, keep keep winning. Keep winning. Yeah. exactly is another keep thing. That fellowship, yeah. and this is what many people don't have the commitment mm. they don't want to do the the, the hard work so mm. to speak. they don't want to put in their own yeah, efforts okay. mm. and they just they don't want to result into something well something short term yeah, exactly. mm. ah, let's try do let's try do <laughs> and i feel like at the end of the day, after that two minutes, three minutes, five minutes video you watch, when you are done, you're back to the original state Stage that you were. That you are. Maybe. True. Exactly. Very so true. So why not even own something long term, something something long Absolutely. lasting? True. True. Something pure, something that true. can bring life into true. your into your family, That's into true. your generation. Exactly. There's something I would also like us to touch. Okay. I have I think two more questions to go. Okay. Now, when. Uh, We've talked about many Christians not being born again. Yes. Mm. And we know that being born again has a lot to do with the water and the spirit. Mm. Mm. Many Christians don't have this. Mm. And that's why we resort to alternatives like comic. Mm. How would what what would a Christian do to find the Holy Spirit? Because or should I say a Christian, a religious Christian, to find the Holy Spirit? Mm. Because if he doesn't have it, all of these things we are saying. Won't make any sense. Make any sense. Mm -hmm. But if he has the Holy Spirit, he will be able to relate with what we are talking about, and he would he would be able to, you know, uh, understand what we are talking about. So, uh, what are the things you the, the, <laughs> the do, do to find the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit? I think the gospel in itself is simple. Okay. The gospel is simple and powerful. Yeah. Many a times we we. We try to put a lot of things to it. But the truth is, what anyone should do to have that relationship with the Holy Spirit is to believe. Mm. Is to really believe. You know, one time the, the Holy Spirit began to explain something to me. And then he said, the reason why we, we sin is not because of temptation. Mm. And I was really troubled. Because you see someone say, oh, I was tempted. This is what happened. I mean, I, I saw maybe, maybe fornication. I, I was tempted by that lady. But the reason why we committed that sin was not because of that lady. It was because of desire. And desire is because there is lack. So lack brings desire. And desire brings temptation. And temptation brings sin. So that is the reason why you cannot be tempted with what you don't have desire for. So... People who go to their phone, <laughs> go to a particular comedian and watch for two hours, 30 minutes, two minutes, they desired it. They had a desire. Ah, I'm bored. Let me go and watch exactly. this guy. He will make me laugh. So the truth is, and if, we, if the result is sin, that means we had unbelief. If we believe that the Holy Spirit is capable of filling us, if we believe that the Holy Spirit is capable of satisfying us, if we believe that the Holy Spirit is capable of meeting our need, even solving our depressions, then there is no need to look for a comedian. Yes. But because we don't have, we don't desire him, we don't believe that Holy Spirit, you are enough. Mm, wow. You can satisfy us. Wow. So I think that is it. That's, that's, that's very rich. Okay, let's go on a very quick break. When we come back, this is still going on. Don't go anywhere right back. We allow comedians to come into church and be playing with holy things of the scripture. I still tell people today, one of the most terrible assault of hell against the kingdom of God in the last days is the invasion of comedians on the pulpit. Comedians have a place in different places. You can go to a marriage ceremony, you can do different things for people at special... But for a comedian to come on the holy altar and begin to crack jokes about holy things of God, we are exposing ourselves to danger and exposing that man to danger. I hope you follow what I'm saying. I tell people that over the years, and I've watched people that don't take it serious. That your pastor didn't warn you does, does not mean God will account and accept it as careless. You may not like a pastor, but it was not a pastor that wrote about tight. You may not like a pastor, but tongue speaking in tongues is still one of the most sacred possessions of the church. I hope you're following. I'm saying you can't come up and begin to say zaba zaba. The devil is making the things of God look stupid to us and making the things of the devil look wise. And weakening our position in spiritual warfare. 
I hope you follow what I'm saying. You get into meetings and a comedian stands in here and is calling the, the fathers of the church men that are standing in the holy office of the anointing. Have you had a comedian go to a show shrine before? Have you had a comedian go to do comedy in the mosque? And begin to take verses of the Quran and begin to joke with it? Why are we desecrating the altar of God? Where have we gotten these pastors that didn't understand the terms and the, and, and, the, and the consecrations of the calling? I'm not talking as a journey just come. When I started this call, my hair was jet black with afro. Are you following what I'm saying? I have paid my price on the road of the calling. Okay? And it's time for people to hear and understand that God will hold the pastor accountable and the comedian accountable. In fact, he said that part of the responsibility of the ministers of God is to show the people of God the difference between the common and the uncommon. The holy and the common. The Bible is holy. You can't, you can't, you can't play with the Quran and Muslims leave you alone. Why should we let them be toying with the Bible? So he now stands a, a, a father up and be joking about him. And then when, the, when it's time for the man to cry to bless the people, the picture we are still seeing is the picture that the comedian joked about. So people are missing one of the most potent garments of the kingdom. That Joseph wore into Egypt as a three times soul slave, naked. They were pricing him like normal, like meat in the market. But 13 years later, he was the prime minister of the entire country because of the blessing that he carried. And I want to release God's blessing upon you. Hey, welcome back. And we're still having this interesting and educating um, conversation, making joke out of biblical content and personalities. Ha, everything I've been said today has been very rich and even hi I've learned I've learned something from our guests. I've learned something, I've learned something from this conversation. If you're still trying to call um to call in and ask questions, make contributions, you can do that right away. The story about the network issues, but you can call in right now and ask questions quickly because of our time. We want to do that right now. Based on what you were talking about, I want right. a scripture came into my mind while you were talking and the scripture that says that um when Jesus was saying that, come to me, all oh, here yeah, that are ever and I will mm, give you rest. rest. The, I don't know why the Bible has given us the map to happiness, the map to find joy. And we still want to go the other way. Mm. When Jesus has categorically said that, come to me, all oh, ye that are ever and I have you let Come to me already. He has given you the come. Mm. All you need to do we is don't want call. To come. You will not even you will not even waste money for, to buy data. Mm. You will not mm. even have to go and pay to go and bring one comedian that will charge you millions of naira to come to your church and come and throw jokes that will put you in trouble. Mm. Come free, and I will give you rest. And we still want to go and spend money for data. This brings me to my last question. All right, all right, Pastor. I am not sure, I don't know exactly how to quote that part of the scripture, okay. but I think I've stumbled upon something before that uh, says it is not only those that sin that would be judged, even those that are kind of, I'm paraphrasing something, okay. that those that are also interested. Hello? Now, you know that. Okay, okay good afternoon. How are you doing today? Okay. Oh, we lost the call. We lost Okay. Call. We lost I don't know what the network okay. is doing today, but if oh, you're yeah, trying to call in, please, you can do that right away. You have two numbers on your screen, one number for call, another one for SMS. You can get the calls and SMS rolling in before our time runs out. So, yes, I was saying that the Bible says that not only those who sing will be judged, but mm. those who are even interested in the sin. So, okay, these people, there seems to be nothing that we can do to stop people from you know, using these contents mm. right now. There seems to be nothing except there is a regulation True. to make them stop. Now, when a Christian goes online or goes somewhere mm. to 
you know, find some solace in comedy. This comedy. Mm. Is he in trouble? I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Are you saying. in trouble? Yeah. <laughs> is, is God's, you know, judgment, is the person at the mercy of God already? Mm. And the judgment of God already? Because that thing always went down. So when I am scrolling through my whatever, I'm, I'm, I'm checking. Mm. Or when I'm watching the content, oh, I'm safe. Mm. I hope I'm not contributing to you. Hello? Hello, good afternoon. And uh, morning. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Very kind of us from this. I want to speak to the TV station. Okay, you are. Okay. Okay. okay, yes, we can hear you. What's your question? I need to wait for them. I know. Please go ahead. Go ahead with your question. I want to speak. In this and program, root and revive. Yes, we can. Can you connect us to no, no, Just go on with your question. Go on with your question. Hello. Oh, okay. okay. I don't know. I don't know. I can't hear us. Um, if you can't hear us, you can just as well send us a text message. Same. Or you can try calling again in case the network is trying to mess with us. Okay. So, we'll, we'll yeah. Okay. So that's my question. Like, okay, Pastor. The Christian unfortunately the christian is in trouble <laughs> here is it the, the the challenge is that sin when we act sin is not about what we do but the desire to do it mm. so as you have desired it you are already part of it mm. so it, it's it's a, it's a spiritual law so when when lot began to go towards, the Bible said he pitched his tent towards Sodom. Mm. But before he knew it, he was already in Sodom. Sodom. Oh. So the thing is that when you begin to watch it and you are happy, you are, you are automatically part of it. Exactly. Because if we don't have viewers, these comedians won't thrive. Mm. They only thrive because they have viewers. I've seen comedians say, ah, you must laugh. That is what I'm being paid for. So because people are happy and even Christians, they come to church and everybody is happy. The funny thing is this, that an average Christian now patronizes comedy more than prayers, mm. more than Bible studies. So you say that our desire is, is so, so, I don't know what to use. Speaking but, of desire also, the Bible also confirms that and says that the man is um, tempted of his, um, of his own desires. Of his own lust. Have, mm. Yeah, if you don't Jake have the desire, really, there's comfort. no way the temptation can come for True. that. True. It all starts with the desire. With the desire. With the desire. Mm. So, that is it. Well, uh, I want to digress a bit. Okay, sir. Out of this a little bit. Okay. Because I, we were talking about, before you came on, we were talking about uh, persecution and all of this. Mm. So, Christians are beginning to consider having themselves. I mean themselves so. <laughs> and that was in our news today. So, uh, I think, Pastor. I, do you have a comment? <laughs> <laughs> I think all of this, all of this, both the, the topic we are dealing with and this, and this they are together. Mm. Because all of this shows that the Christian of the now doesn't want to deny himself. Yeah. Um, but want to enjoy Christ. Christ. So it, it's, it's quite unfortunate that we have Christians who love fun, some go to club, mm. some party, will never accept to die as a martyr, mm. but want the blessings of the cross. Yes. So the truth about people arming themselves, when this came up after the, is it Owo killing? Owo. Yeah. After the Owo killing, I made a post on social media and pastors threatened me. Oh, Some wow. said, what kind of Bible do you read? When did you give your life wow. to Christ? That um, self-defense is not a sin, that you can get yourself armed and all of that. And they say, the question I asked is, how many of us can fight? Mm. How many of us have been trained to fight? fight. We can't fight. I mean, <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm not a trained fact, warrior. I'm not a trained militant. So. Even if Christians are going to fight, we are all going to die. Yeah. And what will be our fate? Mm. 
that we died fighting we make our enemies. And I'm about to you not to do that. Please, because we want to make sure there is a life after now. Mm. And I want to make sure that we, are, we make heaven. So I want to make sure that I live good life here. But anything, anyhow, whatever we God wanted to live here, I will mm. live that way. And my my um my focus is heaven mm -hmm. so i don't want anything to tamper with everyone and if you know that heaven is your priority as well please make sure that you are, you are following what the bible says, says. and arming yourself is not what the bible says yeah, right. okay we have come to the end of this episode it has been an interesting one so far i talked about so many things but of all the things that we have said today please note that making jokes of out of biblical content and personalities is it can even say it's blasphemous Mm. You know, you, you want to make sure that you protect the word of God. You want mm. to protect the word of God. It is life. It is what gives life to people. Oh. It is not something. It's not. It's not something that it is, you can make joke, joke, joke out of. It gives life. The word of God is life. It is not anything that has to do with joke at all. You can't make mockery of the word of God. We want to make sure that you understand this and forth, and we'll all you know, begin to make amendments. And please note that we are not talking about this to, to want to take people's job. Mm. We are just talking about what the Bible says, yes. and we cannot deny what the Bible says because what because of a job or anything. It is just what the Bible says, and we can't keep the truth. We have to keep saying the truth. All right, guys. Um, I remain Bisola Lassisi, and if you have not followed us on all social media platforms. Please once again do that. We are on we are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and on YouTube. We can also find the link to this program on YouTube. You can watch after now. And don't forget to make your comment on the news of Christians arming themselves. If you want us to bring back that topic. news as a topic, please go and comment after now. Please bring back as a topic and we'll do just that. And I say have fast with me in the studio. Yes, thank you very much. I really enjoyed myself today. Yes. Thank <laughs> you. Really thank thank you so much for thank you. coming. Yeah, we hope that you honor our call and warm invite. Oh, definitely. definitely. All right, guys, take care. Have a fruitful week. Bye. Bye. Bye.